That's all I know. Hey, man, back the fuck up, dog. Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Kelly Boy. Bitch. <laughs> y'all wanna uh y'all wanna know about this thing or what man come with me real quick walk with me down the yellow brick road you know what i'm talking about even though it's not yellow but let's roll what bro what are you talking about man so what we have here what is the name of this truck again bro i'm out man that nigga's tripping Blue Chucks, or it's Blue Strings. It's Blue Chucks, that's right. 26s, 37 inch tires. Uh, it's got the Fabtech eight to 10 inch lift on it. Coil over set up. Hey, come on man, show me, come with me real quick. Come on dude. It's so all this fancy stuff up in here. Had it all powder coated blue. Know what I mean? Had the wheels done. Had everything color matched on the joint. Changed the windows. Changed my badging out, you know what I mean? Some people probably won't notice that, but I should be the only one with that. Down here. Get some stabilizers, you know what I'm saying? Some more blue stuff. And uh yeah, that's it. You ain't got to go home, you know what I'm saying? But uh hey man, got to get the hell out of here, you know what I'm saying? That's all I know. Hey man, back to fuck good, dog. Another Mike D exclusive. Another Mike D exclusive.
another Mike D exclusive. Another Mike D exclusive. All right, your boy's back, y'all. I know it's been a minute. A um, couple things I guess to clear up. I know a lot of y'all have been asking via YouTube, when is what's in your garage coming back? It is coming back. Um, you know, COVID is going on. I wanted to wait for COVID to pass. It doesn't look like it's gonna fully pass, but it is slowing down. So I guess I'll get back out there and start, you know, doing some more filming for y'all. Um, I'm glad to know that y'all ain't worried about my health and, and staying away and being safe. <laughs> um, a couple things I guess I wanted to touch base. Oh, 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 and another thing. Um, I might do another rant, a 2021 rant. Um, might do. So, you know, if you don't see it, I don't want y'all blowing me up. When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? Y'all know how y'all do. But um, a couple things about the truck that I guess I want to touch base on. The truck started out as an actual base model. Um, it's not a platinum uh, or whatnot. I know some of y'all call like, why would you start out with, you know, anything less than the top? I guess, you know, pretty much to clear that up, I knew I was gonna change everything. You know, I don't need their aluminum wheels. I'm, you know, I got 26 inch Ford G autos on there. I don't need their tow package. I, I you know, I put a, I put a lift kit on there, um, which was a Fabtech eight to 10 inch lift. I guess, you know, to make sure that I break everything down. 26 inch 4Gs, all six wheels, um, Fury 37 inch tires. Um, you know, I don't need to buy their, their leather kit from the factory because I knew I was going to redo it and do it in blue leather. It's actual leather. You sit in there, it smells like actual leather. It's not pleather or vinyl. It's, it was the real deal Holyfield. I went ahead and went all out. You know, I didn't need their navigation. You know, I put the touchscreen, the big Tesla-style touchscreen um, TV and navigation in there. I know a lot of people actually have a couple issues with that. Well, not issues, but they talk bad about that actual um, TV, but... Yeah, it's been working fine for me. Um, good output, good sound. Um, you know, it, it works just just fine for me. So, um, only thing that they actually got me on is it doesn't have the LED lighting, but I did switch that out, even the headlights. Um, and I got the adapters. I actually got another video that I'm going to put up for just like it's a how-to for anybody who has a forward on how to convert the, the lights over from regular lighting to LEDs. They're flickering. It's not flickering in real life. It's flickering on here. It's working. So that, that video is going to be coming up. I know it's not going to interest a lot of y'all, but you know, just to let y'all know that I am going to be putting that up. Um, you know, it doesn't say platinum on the back. I didn't need their tailgate because I knew I was going to get the custom Kelly Broker uh, tailgate with the lighting on the back. Um, I'll probably actually drop that information in the details down below because I, I know a lot of y'all. <laughs> I know a lot of you have been actually asking about where to get that tailgate, so I'll, I'll drop that information down at the bottom. Um, but pretty much, you know, it was it was a uh, it was a base model. It didn't even have carpet. Um, door handles was black. Bumpers was chrome. I sh I'll, I'll put a picture. I don't think I got a video, but I'll put some information down down um, not down in the comments, but I'll, I'll put a little picture of video up. Um, so I had the bumpers color matched, grill color matched, update the headlights. Color match the door handles and the sun is in my eyes, excuse me, y'all. Um, put the chrome on there like the platinum, uh, change the door pillars, you know, added carpet, did the interior. The center console is actually out of it for some of y'all, if y'all even noticed that, because it's not done yet, technically, the truck. I just went ahead and shot it. And shout out to the homie Ra, uh, Ra Ra. I, I let him uh, try to see if he can help me out as far as filming so I can, you know, pump these things out because time for me is like compressed. I don't really have time to edit no more. 
So, you know, I can do them, but I don't got time to sit down and edit them. Um, but what I was saying is uh, it doesn't have the center console because I'm going to put a stereo system in it. So I, I was thinking about having, you know, maybe like a bunch of 12s or whatever running down the center console. Um, it's like an ideal right now. If I don't go that route, I might just put them underneath the back seat and put the center console back. So that's why the center console is not in the truck. Um, i trying to think what else did I update on this thing. You know, very well tinted windows. Uh, you know, the ride is actually good. It doesn't have the death wobble and all that crazy stuff that everybody's always trying to bash forwards for. Um, you know, it gets crazy looks. Uh, it's got the straight pipe, exhaust, um, plenty of horsepower. It's the same motor as a platinum Lariat or whatever. So it's just really the, the remainder of it is just going to be looks. So since I switched all that, all that out, it's pretty much now an upgraded truck. Um, you know, anything coming from me is always going to be like motivation or, you know, letting you know that, you know, you don't have to start at the top. You know, you can, you can build your way. You can start in the middle and go up. You know what I mean? I've done a lot of that in the past. I've done a lot of barters, tradings. Uh, barter pretty much means is this is trading. You know, hey, I got this and this and some cash. You know, can I, can I get what you got? You know that? A lot of people don't do that anymore. You know, everybody just wants to complain. Oh, the price is so high. Like, try. Like, do something to try to make it work. But again, that's gonna that's gonna possibly be in my rant video. Um, trying to see if there's anything else I can let y'all know about the truck. Uh, 2017. So um, I know they they just recently upgraded the grill and the headlights, and I think the tailgate has changed a little bit. But other than that, you know, it's pretty much all there. Um, you know, I'm smashing on the freeway, fast lane. Um, you know, there's some freeways that just ride bumpy no matter what car you're in. You know, it is what it is. It still does ride like a truck, but it does the job. Um, trying to think what else I can let y'all know about it because I know y'all probably going to have some questions. Nothing's done anything to the rear end. Um, it, again, it's not finished. You know, I, I know I do want to put uh, the... Uh, differential covers and so forth and powder coat some more stuff oh okay so that's how that came about um the truck is white with you know the blue accents originally uh a lot of y'all might not know this it was supposed to be white with red accents so red wheels red suspension red interior blah blah, blah. and as i started thinking about it i was man everybody does red there's actually a white f350 with the same setup as me but red wheels red suspension red interior and i didn't know this when i was building my truck so i i'm so glad that i didn't go that route um real quick shout out to the homie juan let me tell you how that whole story came about i got a homie named juan he's got an f-350 also same truck white and he was just gonna lift it put some wheels call it a day and i never tell people like my ideals or like what i'm gonna do or what's coming and I told him, I was like, man, I'm gonna anodize and powder coat and do all this and that. And he was like, he was like, yo, man, I kinda like that. I'm gonna do mine red. So I had to go back to the drawing board and I was like, man, what other color can I do? And originally, and I still might do it, I was gonna put my logo, the Mr. Kelly Broker logo down the side, which is, you know, it's blue, white, and red now. So I was like, I'll just switch it to blue, which actually worked out more in my favor because the blue pops. Like, it's crazy how it pops. You know, it's you can't really see it in the video. It was it was an overcasty day. Um, something else I just realized that I want to tell y'all is the wheels are polished first, then anodized or powder coated. It's like a kind of like a candy, so you know I mean it's transparent. So that's how you get it to kind of pop to where it looks like it's it's chrome or whatever underneath it. Um, color code for the suspension literally was just candy blue. There was no numbers. At least from what you know, I saw when I when I took it to the powder coater. So you know, I had all that stuff done. All that stuff was black originally. I had, I had the powder coat done, but they're fun trucks. I love Ford. I know a lot of people bash and talk about them. I mean, it is what it is. All day long on the road, you see Fords doing towing and doing big big boy stuff. People just you know they just want to be followers and just want to bash stuff. I mean, I got what three Fords in the driveway right now. You know what I mean? So they've always done what they had to do. I've actually had Chevys that left me on the side of the road. Not not trying to get into a whole bashing contest, but you know, it is what it is. Fords, Fords do what they do. I like the look of the new Fords personally. I mean, I, I think the squareness, the, it's, it's just manly. Like I just like it. Um, next would probably be Dodge for me. I like Cummings Motors. 
Um, the new Chevys is cool. I, I actually don't like the shape. Um, I do got a homie, Dago Dane. He's got a really hard one. Like he's he's like the like the only one that I like. And I'm supposed to be filming him, so look out for that. Um, he's got a monster lift on like 40s and so forth. Like he's murdering me, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, you know, for anybody who really knows to fix up and, and work on these trucks, it is a baller man's game. Um, you gotta have your bread up. You know what I mean? You, <laughs> this stuff costs a lot. It costs a lot to lift up a truck. Um, I actually did a truck pretty quick. It took the longest because of COVID. You know, it took forever for the lift to come, took forever to get the powder coating back, you know, everybody's short staffed or whatnot, but not to talk y'all um, to death, but I just wanted to give you a couple of updates. Like I said, I might shoot that video on a how-to on how I switched out the headlights with the adapter and the plug and play and all that good stuff. Um, running through it. Oh, I was gonna put a sunroof on it. I was gonna put a panoramic roof. Basically, I was gonna make it into a platinum, but how I wanted it. And every sunroof shop that I called and went to, they were like, bro, the new Ford shape is aluminum, the, the, the body. It's aluminum, and you don't want to cut, and you don't want to do anything with it. They were like, to tell you the truth, there's problems from Ford with the original sunroof, you know what I mean? So, you know, you can even Google it on YouTube. It's probably, probably going to be like the worst thing about the new Fords. They open up, don't want to close, close, don't want to open. They go halfway. There's something about it with the body being aluminum instead of how it used to be. So that's the come I didn't put the sunroof. Um, but I pretty much got everything switched over to um, platinum style. You know, I actually put the black wood accents in there. Um, I added the carpet. Like I said, it was vinyl in the beginning. It, you know, I, there's no need to front. I, I'll tell you. Just ask me. Um, but yeah, hope y'all liked it. It was a fun truck, plenty of power. Um, and yeah, but again, what's your garage is coming back? I might do 2021 rant. And. Appreciate the love. Sorry I've been gone. The weather has been sucking and COVID is real. People have been dying. You know, please be safe, wear a mask. Hope everybody out there, you know, makes it through all of this because this is just crazy. But uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Shout out to homie Ra Ra for editing and filming the video for me. Y'all gonna be seeing a whole lot more from him. He's helping your boy out. And um, yeah, I, I, I got some surprises and stuff coming up. Not again, not to bore y'all. Let me get up out of here. It's your boy Kelly Boy. Thanks for following. Make sure you subscribe, like, follow, share, hate, comment, whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do, because I don't care. One. What's up, y'all? I finally got that merch. Make sure you go online and shop now at a day with Kelly Boy .com. I got sizes from medium all the way to 5XL. Make sure you put your size and your color of your sticker in the comments. Go shop now while supplies last.